Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to add animated gradient backgrounds for your Elementor buttons. The good news is this can be done just using the free version of Elementor. The first thing you need to do is head over to this great resource I found on CodePen. This is a CSS animated gradient generator. So what that means is it's going to generate all the code that we need to add animated buttons like this. When you head over to this tool, they give you a couple presets. And so you can just click on one of these and you can see right here, it's automatically adding these color swatches for you. And then it just has some generic information like how long and what direction. So what you need to do first is figure out what colors you want on your buttons. So you can see in this case, this is like a rainbow. So it's got all the different colors. And let's just go extreme and let's change this to um, 10 seconds or so. And let's make it go down. So you can see the buttons are gonna have this gradient going down every 10 seconds. Once you're happy with your gradient selection here, you just go down here and click this button, copy to clipboard. Now we're going to paste this code inside Elementor and assign it to a button. Here we are in Elementor. And like I said, you can use the free version of Elementor. I will be using Elementor Pro. It's just a little bit easier to show you in real time. Um, so any of the CSS code that we're going to add, um, if you have Elementor, the free version, you're gonna add this inside your customizer or your child theme, wherever you put your custom CSS. Whereas in Elementor Pro, I'm gonna put it right here under the settings, page settings, I'm gonna paste it right here. So the first thing you need to do is select the button that you wanna have your gradient background. So in this case, this one right here, and as you can see, this is just the generic uh, button widget from Elementor. If you go under advanced, you need to give it a class name. So if you wanna keep it really simple, you could just stick to what they have right here from the generator, which is animated dash gradient. So we can just call our button that CSS class. So let's go ahead and do that. I already did that right here. So it's just called uh, animated gradient. Now we just need to paste in that code. So here we go. This is the code from the code pen. As you can see, when you add that CSS code, it adds that gradient background to the whole width of the widget and not to the button itself. So what we can do is target the Elementor button with another class, and then it's just gonna assign that background to the button, not the width of the whole thing. And to do that, you just add in this class right here, and I'm gonna have a link to all the CSS code in the description below. So as you can see, it's just animated gradient class, and then we just need to add this right here, Elementor dash button, that's it. So automatically when you do that, it's gonna add it just to the button. Now I'm gonna show you how to add this to a second button on the same page. It's gonna be a very similar process. We need to just change a few additional things in the CSS code to make it work. So let's go back into this example and let's grab something like this, just so we know it's different. And let's make it to the right. Let's make it very fast, like three seconds. Okay, so when you do that, let's just do the same thing, copy to clipboard. Now what we need to do is make sure that this class isn't the same as here because you're gonna have some conflicts and your code's not gonna work correctly. So just like up here, what we need to do is add a CSS class to that button. So in this case, I'm just called an uh, animated gradient two. You can call it whatever you want. And what we need to do is same thing. We just go in here and paste in that code. And as you can see, when you do that, it's not gonna work. We need to go ahead and add the number two right here and then we need to add this Elementor button class as well. And you can see right there, it's working correctly. If you look right here, we need to make sure that this animated BG isn't the same for the first button and the second button. So we could just go ahead and change that animation name to something else and it will automatically update. So we could just add a number two behind animated BG2. This is for the second button. And then you just add it right here, number two. And it's gonna to start to update. So you just need to make sure that when you add a second button, different class, make sure you add this element or button and make sure that you change the animation name to something that's different than the first one. So let's go ahead, hit update. Let's refresh the page, make sure everything looks correct. Here we are on the front end of the website and yes, it does look like everything's loaded up correctly. Uh, this is animating down with the rainbow colors and this one is going to the right with a few different colors a lot faster So it seems to be that the CSS code is working perfectly and that's it for this elementary tutorial Make sure that you like this video subscribe to this YouTube channel hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this again This is Mark from wiki design